You go and do one half, and I'll do one half. Um, of, uh, offense and different ball <laughs> Okay. So, no, I got you. Which one do you want? Uh, you guys sorry. This has three games anyways. Who was it like? Uh, okay. was like bombs or anything? I've never seen any shit like that. Yes. I feel like I'm breathing the heaviest air possible. Which one is supposed to be here? I don't know what game. Last week or two. Hmm. I just found them, man. I thought they were gone. They were pretty old, but I had them just in one of the old shoe boxes. That Not anymore. You go after that. Not that old. Okay. Game seven. There's two things that we're going to catch, I think. The turf or uh, Angelo kicks it up to his own hands. Fourth down right away. Oh, that was a block. I don't know if that's they're supposed to be able to do that. I think that was an illegal offensive lineman. Andrew just got body checked, and he probably would have gotten a quarterback going into the end zone. Wow. Somehow threads the needle. Hey, third? Third or four? Third. Third. Oh boy. Oh. A dude like that's not supposed to have moves like that. Okay, Rano, you almost had it. Yeah. That dance class selective is paying off or whatever he learned how to do that. Oh, tipped it away. That was fourth down, so didn't get them before the halfway line, but got them before they got to the end zone. We are scoreless, and uh, looks like a good start for a change. Usually either they've had a turnover on downs themselves or given up a touchdown or both. We'll see if they can't take advantage of stopping their, their opponent on their first drive and maybe scoring on their own first. <laughs> Going deep. He catches it and walks out of bounds. Yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. Couldn't quite type rope it, but uh, really close.
Too much. Going for one, it's six to nothing. Officials got a little bit uh, excited with the whistles. Caught out of bounds. Somebody thinks he's part of the Florida A&M Marching 100 and Better Days. Back to the game action, going deep. deep. Oh! Back to our game and well, entertaining referee. Right back at the flag. Am I hearing just make up a down now? Volleyball block, and we are back to the most entertaining ref in uh, St. Leo football. If he can do high kicks, a split, and a somersault, then uh, he might be a drum major. You're in the wrong line of business, my friend. Stay up, Andy. Pat Grana almost goes in. Oh, Chad! Dumpy drops a potential touchdown, brings up fourth down. Oh, slide out, slide out. Oh. 
Back of the end zone. No good, and I value my legs. Thank you very much. Good catch, Pat. Figured out that our uh, Mr. Excitement, the uh, referee, is apparently Jason, a.k.a. Freeze, from uh, another team I played on back in the spring, winter, or whatever you want to call it, over at Idlewild. Just like I wouldn't expect the guy to be uh, sideline entertainment and an official, he uh, also had some plays in football that you just looked at and you just went, dude. <laughs> For any kids watching, that just goes with the saying, don't judge a book by its cover. Ever. Unless the book book's cover looks entertaining, like the book's going to be entertaining, thrilling, whatever, interesting, then go right on ahead. Got him. Fourth down and tight. Hey, back up. Let it go, let it go. Tipped up, picked. Is he going to return it? Is he going to get it all the way back? Mighty could he? No. Back of the end zone. It's good. Twelve nothing. Going for one. Nice catch. 13 to nothing. Once again, stopped short of the half line. Wow. 
Walks in for the touchdown. 19 nothing. Twenty Angelo caught it on the far side. Caught on the far side. Pretty sure Angelo's the uh, lead tackler, but he's also able to come downhill on him, just stop him. It doesn't matter where you put him on the field. He was on the left side of this field earlier. Stopped again. Not the way. Fourth down, they might stop him short again and get another short field. Up and away. Almost were able to say goodbye to uh, your sideline scorekeeper and statistician. 46 seconds to add to a 20 to nothing lead. Here's Pat Grant again, his groove thing on. And back to the action. Chris is on the run. Curse you, Pat Grant, I missed the snap. Oh well, you get to do this stuff when it's 20 to nothing. Twenty six seconds to go. Misstated as twenty six minutes, which was kind of hilarious because even if you had the half plus what time's remaining in this half, you don't have twenty six minutes left. But we're probably just a shade over twenty seconds right now. How fast that play went. He's saying that's push out of the end zone means that's a score, 26 to zilch. Walks into the corner, 27 nothing quarterback, does it by himself. Something like three seconds, uh, they're saying. So we got time for one Hail Mary, I think. Let's see what happens. Winds up, balls in the air. Pick, here goes the return. Nope, that's the half. Nice try, Fred. Yo, Black, over here. 27 to nothing, not a bad first half. Let's see what they do in the second. What's good? I'm not, 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 I'm not,
I'm not sure which white boy dancing is more disturbing. Pat Grana or Angelo Pontello? Anybody that manages to uh, watch this, uh, let's just go ahead and say pick your favorites. Um, hashtag white boy dance and uh, also hashtag your favorite. Either hashtag Team Angelo or uh, hashtag Pat Grana. That's G R A N A to pick your favorite. And if anybody takes me up on that, God bless you. Going deep. Wow. He called himself out. Doesn't look like we have an official on the far side, so I guess it's call your own outs. He was in enough to get the catch, but out of bounds enough for that to uh, stop the play. In other news, uh, Malik switched out from my new medium gloves to my old large gloves that are coming, a, coming apart on the thumb at least, one of the thumbs, probably the left. And look what happened. He was wide open and oh my gosh, he pulled a before a guy just went a little bit cray cray there just to make sure that he doesn't get some language just uh, just because I kind of have have to have some standards. Uh, somehow Chris unbelievably gripped that ball too long and just slammed it into the ground. I call that a Jameis throw after what he did FSU versus Oregon. But speaking of Jameis Winston, in the last few weeks he's had a he hasn't turned the ball over, and the Bucks somehow upset a Falcons team that I think was more or less undefeated. Running around in traffic, caught. Three to nothing. But uh, hey, I, I forget what exactly the Bucks' record is now. I think it's something like three and four, or whatever. But uh, so much for Mariota versus Winston because uh, Titans got their head coach fired, Ken Wisenhunt, after they got their backup quarterback, Zach Mettenberger, pounded. But that's some um, NFL news for today, and it is 34 to nothing. May as well get your ESPN info here or sports news, whatever. Uh, with this little time capsule and flag football news, whatever. Call me an amateur, but then again, an amateur built the Ark and the professionals built the Titanic. Life lessons, kids. Learn them. But as we move on to yet another drive, see if the shutout will stay alive here in the second half of game seven. Breaking down the sideline, stopped. Hey. 
Just gets the first down and sits down, content to get his first down after Malik went skyborn. Ooh, barely kept that foot in bounds. Barely kept it in bounds again. Spin move. He's on the run and the flag breaks. Did you see that? You go from a ridiculous play to yet another ridiculous play just in the wrong direction. Bye bye shutout, 34 to 6. Thirty-four to six. Uh, not much more to say. So uh, to save time. Uh, see you on the next clip. Is that Chad Dumkey down the field? Just a reminder. That's Chad Dumkey, not Shaq. Welcome to the Mystery Science Theater 3000 School of Football Commentary. Probably better football than the movies they watched. I never watched the show, but I heard it's great. That was the perfect pick. Oh, and he trips him on the way over before he gets across the line. Whatever works, folks. Speaking of Mystery Science Theater 3000, I'm pretty sure that has a cult following. Probably tens of thousands, probably many more. Got about oh, 15 to 50 views on these things, and someone will discover these and think, oh dear, what was he thinking? And Malik goes flying away again. And a big boy quarterback almost rolls in for another touchdown, well, for his team. 30, trailing 34 to six, but they're staging somewhat of a comeback. If you can do that when you're down 34 to nothing. Stranger things have happened, is he in? Broke the plane, he says, 34 to 12. Too easy. 34 to 13. Timeout, Angelo. Quarterback Chris apparently not comfortable with his grip. 
as a glove out there, tried borrowing mine. Going deep, wobbling. Always gets it over the top of him. Sets up. Fourth and short. See if they don't try and rush him or leave him alone after they saw him scramble earlier. Go Wendy. And Malik says, thank you very much. Forty to thirteen. Hey, let's let's go. Like, oh, I was beat. He took straight, and I had to turn and catch. I wasn't even set. Malik gets all seven on this drive. Forty-one to thirteen. Coming off the bench, Pat Grana, Angelo coming off. Next drive, down 41 to 13 with the clock ticking down. Uh, not sure what the time is exactly, but it's looking like we're getting into garbage time where it's all about cosmetics. Gets a quick pass. He's moving. Oh, that looked. Got the flag, but it looked like real close to a guard. Flag broke. Man down. Angelo's down again. Hopefully he's all right. We'll see what happens, and I'll uh, get back to you on the flip side. Angelo's walking away, albeit gingerly. So that was probably a injury to the leg. Forty-one to nineteen. In other news, on the injury report, looks like he's walking more or less at a normal rate, which is a good sign. Forty-one to twenty. Twenty-one twenty. Forty-one twenty. Angelo said there's somewhere around seven minutes left. I'm yet to confirm that one. 
41 to 20, I believe, is the score. Just got rushed, and off we go. <laughs> What was that? Oh my goodness. Supposedly this is fourth, but I've seen us go coast to coast in the last few games. Going just to, oh, he stepped out of bounds short. I mean, if you want to call that technically. Oh, man. It's like a three foot putt in golf. Sometimes the easiest passes turn into a disaster. It's only more exaggerated by the fact that they're supposed to be caught pump fakes too many times. Must have been good coverage. He did throw that to a guy in the middle of the end zone. A little too late, but I think it's because the play was over. Oh, he goes airborne in there. Chad Dumkey in there to clean it up. This time he said, sorry, big man, you are going nowhere. Fourth down. At least the guy's going to go airborne. Of course he's going to duck under him and run. Picked! Goodbye, Fred. At least he prevents a touchdown. 41 to 20. And if my ears aren't deceiving me, our uh, DJ statistician and scorekeepers on the sideline have gone from notorious B.I.G. to was that was that hard style music? And uh, I think I just about heard Sweet Caroline. <laughs> statistician and scorekeeper, I like your style. Here goes Fred. Short pass, big gain, and coming towards your living room. Dumps it off short to Malik. High steps out of bounds. Ball goes groundward on uh, the far side of the field, you may notice. Angel is not just walking around, he actually went deep on one of the last few plays. Oh, in and out of his hand. That last uh, drop was worth uh, saying fudge. Except for he didn't say fudge. He said the big one. 
The F dash dash dash. Don't worry, we'll wash his mouth out with soap later if we can uh, find him later. Probably not, not worth it, but uh, if you drop a sure interception like that, then uh, you're sure to say that. And we got Angelo quarterbacking. Angelo on a run. Angelo thinks he's Cam Newton and runs a guy over. Fourth down. Or was that fourth down? Forty-one to twenty. Uh, stop short on the fourth down. And I think who the what the oh well let's Angela's arguing somebody else. It's always something. Picks. Let's go. Behind, behind. Almost takes it all the way back. That was a quick drive. One pass intercepted and back down the field. And let's see if they can't score on this one. 24 seconds. We have a NBA shot clock. Except for this one's not running and this one will not reset. So turn off the shot clock. Uh, we have Angelo at quarterback. It's 41 to 20. So it's all about style points right now. Angelo gets rushed. Angelo throws it to the wrong guy. 41 to 20. Score is currently 41 to 20, but you see this uh, quite often when the team's up by a lot, and uh, the other team, uh, they get a few more points. Uh, game's pretty well in control. I believe we start off with a 34 to nothing lead. Not like you're winning much. Uh, but anyways, style points. Technically, they've come back 20, 20 to 7. But it's not so much a comeback when you're down by 34 points. And you can't make it all the way back. Go in deep. Pig by Freddie backs out of bounds and falls out and is it is a ball game yet? Four seconds. They're gonna play it out. Are they calling it? Are they calling it? Looks like that's game 41-20. On to game eight coming up soon.